Look y'all, I'm running late, but it's cool. We're gonna be there in no time, I ain't tripping. I ain't gonna lie, I don't be recording every time. I ain't trying to record every time I go, but I ain't gonna hold you. But one thing I need to invest in, bro, I need to get another GoPro. Like the first GoPro I got is cool, but I need another one for a different angle. I'm gonna try to use my phone today and try to get like a front angle. I think that'll be hard, but I really need to get a GoPro though, a second GoPro. I might just go get one this week. We gonna see. We gonna see what we gonna do. I might get one this week. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, on our way to go ahead to what we gotta head to. Ground runway 25, Tango, Echo Yankee. Flight controls. All right, so we check the right aileron, make sure it goes up, then make sure it goes down once we turn left, then we check the left side. It's up, turn right, then we check the left side, it goes down. That makes sense? Oh, yeah, I don't know why mine don't be doing Oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Cool. So we check over here, we're a little bit on the side of east. We're like uh, towards 120. So we'll turn it like this. That makes sense? That makes sense. Yeah. Make sure your best power. Okay, make sure it's all the way in. Uh, 1800 RPMs. All right. And now like At add power to 18. Uh, going at ground, Grumman uh, 269035 EAA uh, ramp, and that uh, we have Zulu VFR westbound. Uh, now we got vacuum, no mag test, no mag test. Hold your brakes the entire time. Yep. Decreases, turn it back on. There's a charge, so make sure it works. I right, know we got oil pressure. Make sure it's in between the green. All right. Uh, oil temperature also on the green. All right. And the light on. We don't need that. It's daytime. Probes is required. It's daytime. Uh, time. We're good now. Our right, brakes released. Winnet Tower, Cessna 23675, holding holding short runway 25, ready to take off. Cessna 23675, Winnet Tower, turn right north, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Add power. Winnet Tower, and then... So, right rudder right a little bit. Okay. Full right power, and release your brakes. Winnet Tower. Full power, all the way in. Cessna 172, 2500. Okay. NFL. Release your brakes. About, uh, probably 10 miles north of you right now. Just, uh, just transition southbound here. To, uh, right rudder. We're nine three four one echo. Right rudder. Nine miles northeast of the field. Uh, you don't stay at that altitude. All right, pull fine. back. I'm going to stay at this altitude. If that's all right with you. Four one echo. We can make it work. We're four three miles northeast of the field for a traffic update. And what's our best uh, climbing speed? Uh, between seventy six yeah. to three miles inbound for runway two five. Number 872, runway 25, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 25, 872. Clear track 309, number 2, looking for traffic on a 3 mile final, reported in sight. Number 2, looking for traffic on final, clear track 309. Number 26935, on course west, runway 25, clear for Number 2 for the runway, we'll report a 4 mile straight in, runway 25. And adjust your head and buck, you put it on north. Sierra Mike. 
Oh, not that one. This, one, this one over here. Side, three track 309. Three track 309, thanks, sir. Runway 25, clear to land number two. Clear to land number two, runway 25, clear to track 309. You see that ball? It's uh -huh. more to the right than center, right? So you have to hit the right rudder. Climb 3,500. 1, 3, 3, 0, 5, 4, mile final, 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, 0, Mike, Roger, departing 2 ahead of you, runway 2, 5, clear to land. 2, 5, clear to land, and we'll look at that drop flag, sir, Mike. Air track 3, 0, 9, one of these left, taxi to your ramp, mark the ground, have a good day. Taxi the Echo, to Whiskey, clear track 3, 0, 9, have a good day. Climb 3,500. 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 3, 0, 5, 4, mile final, 2, 5. 2133, sir, Mike Roger, departing 2 ahead of you, runway 25, clear to land. 25, clear to land, and we'll look over at that drop flag, sir, Mike. Air track 309, one of these left, taxi to your ramp, mark the ground, have a good day. Taxi the Echo, to Whiskey, clear track 309, have a good day. Okay, 3500, so push down. Delta, Delta Air Harbor, runway Delta nose on the horizon. Keep pushing down. Introduce a little bit of power. Power to 21. Delta Air Harbor, runway 25, taxi via whiskey. You're still climbing, so push down. You see your nose is still high. Uh -huh. Yeah. So push down. You can either trim to help you out. Colonel 2047, Quebec. The Cessna's going left. Turn right on course, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Right on course, runway 25, clear for takeoff. 47, Quebec. Okay, so we're still climbing. Traffic, so we're trim more. Okay, give me a left turn. To the west. Then maintain 3,500. Okay, that was good. Now we're going to do some maneuvers, or like some emergency maneuvers. Okay. Before we do a maneuvers, it's called a pre-maneuver checklist. It's not on that checklist, so you got to like memorize it. So pre-maneuver checklist is very simple. Fuels both, mixture of full power, and all lights on. Turn all your lights on. And then maintain 3,500. Old light. Yeah. The reason why we turn all the lights on so other aircrafts can see us doing the emergency procedures. Okay. So they avoid us. Alright, give me a left turn to north. And then we do clearing turns. We check for traffic. So just one uh, 90 degrees turn. Your power is a little low, so add power to 21. Clear track 11, dang, we're in town, right around way 25, clear to land, and the one's 2906. Clear to land, 25. Okay, we're checking for traffic. Hey, no traffic. All right, so my controls, I'm going to teach you a, something called a slow flight. Your trim is a little off, because see? Uh -huh. Yeah, so let's switch up a little, nose up. You want your trim to be where your, your plane's level. The plane's flying by itself. Every time you trim, let go of the plane. Is it climbing or descending? And now it's stable, right? Uh -huh. So it's the perfect trim. If it's the little time you adjust the trim, let go for a few seconds. See if, it, if it's climbing or descending. All right, so we're going to do something called a slow flight. So the first step is you want to reduce your power to 15. Okay? When you reduce power, your plane wants to drop, right? Because it's losing energy. you got to pull back on the aileron just a little bit. Maintain your altitude at all times. So once you reduce power and you're maintaining altitude and heading, put flaps to 10 degrees. Every time I see my soul drop, I'm going to pull back more. Once I cross 80, 80 knots, I can put the flaps all the way down. For slow flight, we like to maintain 55. Once we reach 55, we can add power to 18. This way, you maintain both altitude and airspeed. Aguinet Tower, 6149, Juliet, home short, uh, 25 on Yankee, ready for takeoff. 6149, Juliet, Aguinet Tower, roger, hold short, line is heavy. Roger, hold short, line is heavy. This is slow flight. 
The reason why we practice slow flight is because the plane is really, really sensitive at slow air speeds. So you gotta like re be really good at it. We're gonna make a left turn to west, for example. Every time we turn during slow flight, that first notch you see there, that's your max. If you exceed it, the plane gets into a stall. The big C, what? See that first notch over here, that first dash line. Yeah. So this is the level. That first notch over here. That okay. notch, if you, if you exceed it, the plane has a tendency or high risk of stalling. Definitely don't want that. Exactly. We're on west to recover, full power, then pitch down to maintain the horizon. Once your airspeed increases, we can throw flaps 20. Once your BSI becomes positive, we can go flaps 10. Alright, so positive, flaps 10. The ones to increase above 80 airspeed, flaps all the way up. Alright. Maintain 3,000. Then we can do a little bit of power, back to cruising setting. Reduce power. Power 21. Okay, maintain 3,005. Right turn to zero six zero. The spot for never read back correct. All right, this time you're gonna do it, but I'm gonna give you the step by step. Okay. Please follow my steps. Take off. Uh, left turn to the south. Watch your altitude. Cessna's on a left crosswind, about a mile and a half off the end of the runway at twenty three hundred. Roger, we'll be watching for the Cessna. Hey. Okay. Add power back now. Cruising setting. Hey, so power. Uh, sorry, slow flight. So first, power 15. Reduce the power until it's at 15. Power 15. Yep. Okay, flaps 10 degrees. Flaps 10 degrees. All right. Every time you add flaps, the plane wants to go up, so you got to fight it a little bit. All right, you cross 80 knots, flaps all the way down. All the way down? Yeah, all the way down. Once you reach 55 airspeed, you're going to add power to 18. All right, there's 55, power 18. Get that sound, that's a stall. So push down just a little bit. The plane's going all everywhere. Uh -huh. That's why. At slow airspeeds, the plane's going crazy, basically. Okay, recover. So full power, all the way in, and then push down, and flaps 20. All right, VSI is positive, flaps 10. All right, you still want to push down. All right, we're right, once you're at 80 airspeed, it flaps all the way up. All right, so push down a little bit more. Every time you recover from emergency procedure, you want to maintain the horizon. Okay. Just give me a left turn to the north, and then try your best. This time, try like do it by yourself. All right. All right, no worries. We'll report a three mile right base our way two five. Crew check that. Level out, and then once you're ready, you give me a slow flight. All right. RPMs 1500. All right. Watch your altitude. Pull it back. Quebec County uh, Tower, Sky 314 Golf Tango is. Uh, hey, what's next? Southwest inbound with uh, Zulu full stop. Left down to 10. All right. Once I get between, I think 50 and 60, right flaps down, all the way down. And once you cross 80, you can go flaps all the way down. So you already crossed 80, so flaps all the way down. All the way down. At 55, add power. Oh. You're trapped 10 15, you're trapped to look for Scoutmaster just inside the warehouse is on final there. Alright, Roger that. We still have negative contact. We're looking for him though. Crew check 1015. Crew check 1015, Roger. Somewhere in the neighborhood, about a mile and a half hour or so. Low level, 1600 feet. Roger that. In sight. Crew check 1015. Crew check 1015. Thank you. Runway 25. Clear to land number 2. 
25, clear line number two, crew track 1015. If you feel like you're pushing a lot or pulling a lot, you can use your trim to help you out. I right, maintain 55, we're at 65 right now. 320, contact line of departure, have a good day. 320, over to departure, 54 number. 380. Do you have any questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. I'm good. Uh, Alright, place line, crew track 380. First thing you do is RPM 1500. Yep. Second thing you do is turn flaps to 10 degrees. Alright. Uh, once you get between 50 and 60, you change the, uh, the power. All right. Watch your altitude. When your altitude decreases, your airspeed increases. So you can, like, trade them. So pull back to, d to decrease your airspeed and increase your altitude. Okay. All right, keep going. All right, so flaps 10. Oh, What's flaps next? 10. Uh, you, can use, you can turn the power up. Maintain 3,500, 55 airspeed, ball centered. Right now it's good. Like, I'm gonna be honest, if this was a test, you're gonna pass this test. Okay. Damn. I'm being honest, like, this maneuver's good. Alright, recover, full power. Full power? Yeah, full power. All the way in. All the way in. Laps to 10, once I get the 80 airspeed. Okay. First, maintain horizon, so pitch down. There you go. Flaps 20. Flaps 20. So I get the 80 all the way up. Yep. There you go. So if you want trim, because you're pulling back a lot, right? All right. So trim. Right through seven one eleven, going to turn right northeast, runway two five, perfect take off. Traffic's on about two and a half. The only mistake you did was your altitude. Everything else was perfect. Okay. For me, that's the hardest part. I'll be yeah. trying to. Yeah. I'll be trying to look at everything at once. Okay, so reduce, reduce a little bit of RPM. Once you're recovered, fully recovered, flaps up and everything, you can reduce RPM to 21, which is cruising setting. Uh, Making me left turn to 210. I'm going to be honest, like compared to from your first instance to right now, your aircraft is very stable. You have full control of the aircraft. It's really good. Appreciate it. Of course, man. Let's try that maneuver one last time. We'll call it a day. Alright. Uh, we're heading up south. So every time we're going to approach an airport, we have to listen to the ATIS. The press comp 2. Visibility 1 0. Sky clear. Temperature 2 5. 2.18. Altimeter is 2904. 